Hi Ninja, how are you guys doing? It's your girl Oami Nishwa Zauru, aka Miss Bia Fuck All. Um, guys, welcome to my channel. And I know this is not the first video of 2023, but welcome to 2023, Ninjas. And I think I just wanted to touch base with you guys. Obviously, like when it comes to the channel, welcome you back. Um, and welcome you if you're just, you know, coming across my videos and my channel. Um, but um, I just really honestly just wanted to sit down and just have um, a bit of. Um, let's just touch base especially after 2020 2020 2021 2022 <laughs> so yeah it has been a stressful three years okay to say the least um you guys know 2020 um privately i was going through a divorce um you guys didn't know yet that was the time that i was going through like the worst like 2020 for me was the worst okay um and um secretly did that 2021 i had to publicly come out and tell you guys that yes i'm going through a divorce and it was crazy i think that um all the emotions that i was holding back they all just came because i was like i need to be strong and i, I think that like that is the time that i literally just saw that before i was a youtuber i remember i used to see like you know people that are youtubers i'm um, saying i love you guys so much you guys have no idea and i'd be like why is you lying just let us watch your videos um i literally saw how much i loved my followers in 2020 um and that was when i literally realized also in 2021 that wow like it's more than just me saying i'm a youtuber and i love you guys like due to the fact that even just me making certain decisions i also like was thinking for you guys as well like i was like i wonder how you guys are going to take this i i feel like i will have let you guys down um and not that in me making a decision to leave ever was affected by that but it was just a matter of like it wasn't just like oh i don't care like i'll just do what i want and everything and so i think that because i shared with you guys and you guys like embraced me so much and um you also shared your own stories it kind of like just allowed me grief and it was just crazy like so much emotion so much um pain came through and that was in 2021 i also had to be dealing with a stalker um that honestly is just like one of the most worst human horrible human beings i've ever met and so it was like honestly quite crazy um 2021 and then 2022 um you know i'm up and down with court cases with my sister's father um and you know like it has just been a lot <laughs> um and i know that i've said i'm gonna give you guys an update i think i'm ready i'm gonna film um the video and just give you guys like an update of what has been going on which has been crazy it's one of the most painful journeys that i've also had to go with and i think that it's also just because it was bringing back so many memories for me you know the things that this man has done like and we were still so young at that point we couldn't stand up for ourselves and now i can stand up you understand like i can stand up so i'm going to obviously do that so i think there was a lot of anger um that actually also came um with that situation as i'm saying i'm still gonna do like a full separate video and just tell you guys what happened with all the court appearances that were actually going on and what is um you know where we stand right now but um this year 2023 is a year that's going to mark a decade after my mother passed and so it's like it's different i know we mourn in different ways i feel like i'm at a point in my life now where i have mourned um, my mother's passing there are certain days that it gets very difficult like her birthday um you know special days i still get i still struggle sorry whenever like i reach a milestone you know um i still struggle a bit with that um the fact that she's not here obviously but i feel like now that like this is a decade this is like year 10 i've just told myself that you know what this year um i'm going to just honestly like deal with things that i've not dealt with this year i'm going to take my mental health very serious i am definitely going to be taking some supplements that helps with like anxiety stress and whatever because <clears throat> for the past 10 years i have been raw dogging this ish i've never been on anything and from what has happened within this past three years i've 
experienced a lot of trauma back to back and mentally i was just not i'm not, i'm just not um where i believe i should be and last year i struggled a lot and this year i'm feeling a lot better but i feel like this year if i ever start to feel down i'm definitely going to like go and if they have to prescribe medication for me i'm definitely going to take it just because i feel like i'm sick and tired of struggling I'm mentally like it has just been crazy absolutely it affects my productivity it affects the quality of life that i have and so that's something that i think that is very important for me that i choose that i'm going to do for myself this year is focus on my mental health i am also going to focus on um content creation i want to upgrade my content you know um now i feel like when it comes to entertainment videos killing it right i feel like i've gotten a way that i absolutely love and i think you guys also love it i sit down um the videos are never edited or highly edited i even saw a ninja complimenting saying oh but do you just sit down and just you know have this video because you don't have jump cuts and whatever and literally that's exactly how it happens i roll the camera and i talk from beginning till end um there are times where obviously sometimes i'll choke and you know i have to cough and then i'll cut that off but it really happens with most videos i will sit talk from zero to 10 minutes to 12 minutes to 20 minutes and you won't really get um any jump cuts and so i love it but if you guys would suggest something you can go ahead and comment if it's something that i believe i can be able to do why not i can actually do it but i do feel like i need to up up upgrade my content on my other channel so you guys know i do have another channel please do go and subscribe let's reach 10,000 <laughs> fast i know that i've been horrible with that channel um but yeah i want to go back to doing vlogs which i think i've explained that the reason why i stopped doing vlogs was because um i just was not feeling too safe first of all i was going through a divorce and so i felt like if i was to share too much then you know the person i'm divorcing and their lawyer they might actually be able to put uh, some things um together and it might hinder some stuff i don't know i was very paranoid um and then also um after that you guys i feel like i just got so comfortable in my privacy and so i'm just like i can still vlog and still keep some of the private moments that i want to keep for myself and so i think i'm getting comfortable and i'm going back to vlogging and so i feel like i want to like you know up the quality in that way i want to be more productive this year and we are definitely going to be shooting documentaries if you obviously are someone that also wants to know how to um create a youtube channel um you know how to create thumbnails the best editing softwares um how to set up your cameras and you want to see me live like do that with you and teach you it's going to be like a whole day a master class um, then be excited because that's definitely going to be coming I'm gonna have my first master class I think it will be in March so um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a post and I'm gonna put it out there and if you want to book your space because I will have um, limited space um, then you absolutely can and so basically yeah that's that so look uh forward to that as well we're gonna do documentaries and i'm super excited um to the ninjas that sent emails um i do remember i did um in community uh post i did say and i said do send your emails to golden beauty exclusive your emails are still there don't think that maybe there are other people that i took and i just did not take you i have not um you know responded in terms of like saying okay you are but i did get a lot of emails and i'm gonna um select the stories but all the stories that you guys sent honestly like i think um season one is gonna just be episodes of everyone that sent um the email because it's quite a lot and i just feel like i would not feel okay to be like oh i'm gonna select this one and that one and we're not no um and the reason for that was because i just saw like you know the brief that you guys were giving me like i was just shocked you know and i think these are stories that will help um other people as well because sometimes when you're going through a lot you think you're the only one but you honestly are not and so that's my aim this year mental health for myself mental health for my ninjas and we just help each other out now i also obviously you guys know i'm gonna be um bringing back shout outs um and also consultations i had put a pause on that guys mentally last day i was honestly just not doing well i was very overwhelmed i also realized um or came to a realization that i do have 
anxiety when it comes to phone so i'm someone that if you have got my personal whatsapp numbers you can literally think that i hate you because you can whatsapp me and i'm not going to respond and it's not because of i think i'm special it's not because of anything um i think that maybe if um i just i can't show you guys because obviously there are people's <laughs> messages here but i have over like 217 whatsapp messages that are there that i've not even opened um and so most people that are very close to me they know that if there's anything that is emergency they do not text they call me and i know it's impractical to have a business number that obviously is supposed to use whatsapp and you guys are gonna just have to be calling and so i'm someone that get anxious if like the messages that i've not opened i get anxious and i kind of just it's a thing i did not know it was a thing until a medical uh, a psychologist like literally said it to me because she was like no like what you're telling me um these are symptoms she said the name man but it's like i've got anxiety towards like phone or something like especially if they're unopened messages and honestly that's exactly how i feel like i feel uneasy um i just feel like oh my god like i get very overwhelmed and once i go through them i become fine but and then i'm like oh that was easy but the next time it happens like that and so i'm so sorry that some of you have sent messages and i've not opened them but i i i, I i'm basically getting guys it's just been a lot i did get a pa and then things didn't work out and so now i'm gonna just have to have another pa and hopefully that this time is gonna work out because honestly that is the part that i'm worse at i get very anxious it blocks my mind and everything like it's at the back of my mind you've got messages that are open and it just makes me feel very unsettled and this is something that i like i'm just being open with you guys and i'm really sorry when it comes to that so soon everything is gonna be sorted and you guys will be you know you get um a respond um, um um fast and so the other thing again i am gonna be adding extra services this year and i'm super excited about those ones um and i i still do not know what i'm going to name them but you will be able to just you know i know right now i've got um a, a fees um that i charge for you to like you know get advice when it comes to youtube but what i've realized is that i do spend some time giving people advice and there have been ninjas that have suggested oh i mean why don't you just open a service um where you can make an appointment with someone a complete stranger sometimes it's nice to just talk to a stranger that you do not know and i feel like there are people that you know you guys are ninjas you watch me you know what i stand for um and some of you just want like that personal one-on-one -on -one advice about a situation that is going on and so obviously unfortunately due to the fact that i also do have to it i also have a lot of work that i also have um to do it would be okay um if we i was to open those services for those that would want them and then like you know we would actually talk about different stuff advice um if you've got a partner and you feel like you know what maybe we can get an advice um from oami and we can you know maybe have this or you are by yourself or something then i can also be able to help you guys when it comes to that um i'm not saying i'm an expert i'm not saying that i I know everything um but what i do know is the fact that i prefer talking to a stranger at most times than um talking to someone that i know just because i feel like a stranger is not really going to have anything or any back knowledge they only know what i'm telling them and so they can be able to just give me their raw opinion when it comes to that and you guys know i'm as real as they come so i'm still going to come up with a name and then there's also going to be like a poster that is obviously about that and obviously life um is going to continue so i'm quite excited for 2023 um i do pray to god that you know this year we literally just are at the best our best mental state our best financial um place our best um you know whatever like honestly and i'm also going to start financial videos um and those are going to be on my other channel i'm i'm quite excited about that i do, i mean i'm not someone that talks too much about finances but i've made a lot of mistakes and i've made some things um a lot of things right and so i feel like i'm kind of like a good balance especially because where i come from i come from like under uh, child under the ocean okay like poverty zero one zero okay and so i feel like i can be able to relate to a lot of people because i had to go with those stages you know where 
500 rands had to be for the whole month um and you know where 1000 had to be for the whole month 2000 20000 30000 so i feel like i do um quite relate with a number of people because i started literally from the bottom bottom and so i think whatever knowledge i have why not um help um people out so basically that is that my ninjas and yes this year our book is going to come out and i'm super excited about that um again i'm also um facing some anxiety when it comes to that because i'm also gonna be very open um and that means actually going all the way back to things that literally um hurt and so i have gotten um someone that said they are gonna help me in terms of just how to put the book together and i'm super grateful for that so we do have quite a busy year this year um and obviously there are certain things that i do need to keep for myself before was a wood squad before they steal my plans um but these are just some of the stuff that obviously you guys should look forward to thank you so much for all the support that you guys give me i honestly do not take that for granted and i do hope that you guys actually know this and you guys actually feel it because i make sure that whenever i meet you guys i hug every single one of you i honestly do that because i love you guys so much no one has ever asked for a picture and i refused usually what i do is that i do take a boomerang and then after that i mention you on instagram and then obviously you can have that and obviously then you know you're also on my um instagram i do try my best honestly um to just show you guys how much i love and appreciate you guys and today um i went to mall of africa and i was in incredible connections and so i was just there you know with this other guy that works there and we're quite close and i you know i love him like i call it my husband it's so crazy like we're very close um and so as we were standing there and ninja came and maybe if i will be able to i will put like a boomerang and she's with her husband and their baby and when she saw me she's like oh worry and you know we hugged and she was like she needs a picture i was like okay um i think they were looking for the phone or something but the husband had the baby He's so sweet by the way is the one that was carrying the baby and she was carrying the bag and so i was like let's do a boomerang and so we ended up doing the boomerang and um we're talking laughing and then after she left he was like you know what i love about you is the fact that if someone does not even know that you're a celebrity they wouldn't even tell and i'm like what do you mean a celebrity you know he's like no but you're someone that is known like everyone here knows you and i didn't even know that that's why i bought my phone that's why i buy like you know i bought my laptop and whatever um and he was like i i have seen celebrities come here and leave and whenever people try to embrace them like they just look at them like you know um and they don't even embrace them but the fact that you even take your time and you even like hug you even talk and you treat your followers as humans than just fans and i literally told him i was like the reason for that is because like i don't have fans i have friends um and when i see you guys and i just like i love you guys so much because i know what you have done for me and a lot of you guys like some of you actually will come out and like tell me your stories and the, the ninjas that literally break my heart that will start crying like you have no idea how much your videos have helped me and i i always just feel the love and so i do not take that for granted and so i honestly just wanted to say thank you guys so so much if you see me do not be afraid like you should approach me warning i'm very short <laughs> i'm shorter than what you guys think and stop telling me i'm short i've told you guys <laughs> but anyway um i actually love you guys happy sunday and um happy 2023 i do honestly hope that you have got um your new year's resolutions you have not given up on this year um i i and i know and understand that years are different you know you can have like three year bad years in a row trust and believe i'm from there but i told myself 2023 is where i cut the line like i'm just taking um you know my happiness back and i'm i'm just i'm just not for any nonsense no crap this year it's all about my bag my happiness my mental health and just taking great care of myself and i know like i remember not so long when i started with my skincare journey i told you guys and um you know the people that are shocked oh i mean i'm like guys were you guys not there when i was telling you i'm gonna be going to the dermatologist i'm gonna be doing this i'm gonna be doing that i think when you talk about something people just 
don't ever think or the results are going to come and when results come some jealous bitch is gonna come over and talk about oh she's actually bleaching i'm just like okay whatever but um i also do have to tell you guys that this year i'm losing weight i'm gonna focus on my weight so once nima skinny skinny anybody better come out here and be like oh she's sick oh she's this is that i'm giving you guys and i'm telling you guys now beginning of the year this year i'm making it a serious thing and i'm taking control of my body back basically um and so yeah anyway i love you ninjas stay blessed from your mommy ninja fashion aka miss pia focal i love you stay blessed and i'll see you guys in the next upload happy 2023 yay